Alright, hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Today's piece of content comes directly off the back of a piece of content that I made a few months back and that was on the Ghostling Pro from Alpaca Gear. Now, it's very easy for me to say that that bag scored very highly. I mean, I don't give numerical uh, scores to mine, but you know, there was so much from that, from the build quality, the materials that were used, the choices that Alpaca had made in the way in which that it was used and the way in which that you know you could you could use it yourself. Um, really, really, really impressed me. So what I did was I, th I thought, well, I'll try my hand and I contacted Alpaca because I noticed from an email that they'd sent out that the Bravo X Sling version 2 was being released. So I got in touch with them, said, would you like to collaborate on a piece of content together? They were more than happy, they sent this my way. So for the last two or three months, I've now been testing this. So today we're gonna look at my thoughts on this pack. Um, but I think it's definitely important to say at this point, full disclosure, you know, this was sent to me free of charge. However, I haven't been paid to make sure that I review this favorably. Um, I was incredibly impressed with that first pack and, you know, spoiler, I'm incredibly impressed with this one as well. There's a lot you can do with this um, and I think as far as gear that I've tested from Malpaca, it's two for two at the moment. Um, so what I'll do is, I'll turn, well actually I'm not going to turn the camera on, I'm just going to reposition it so that you can see this a little bit closer, but while I'm doing that, uh, feel free to hit that like button if at any point you enjoy this content or even if you just find it mildly funny, that would be awesome. And also stay tuned to the end as well, I'm just about to hit a milestone here on YouTube and when I hit that milestone there's going to be a giveaway, uh, so stay tuned to the end and you'll be able to see a sneak, kind of a sneak peek kind of, kind of thing um, about um, it. So yeah, let's turn the camera around. As we usually do, we'll go through the dimensions, we'll go through the materials that are used here, and then we'll have a look at the actual features of the sling pack itself. So as far as the measurements are concerned, from across the side, it's widest, it is 320 millimeters by 240 millimeters by 90 millimeters deep. And it's a six liter in total. So it's actually a, few, a little bit larger than the ghost sling that we looked at a few months back. As far as the weight is concerned, it, is, it comes in at 580 grams. Now I'd say that that is reasonably light, but it, there's, there's quite a nice bit of rigidity to this. It feels like a solid pack. It actually looks like it should be heavier, uh, heavier than it is. And that mainly comes down to the choice of materials that um, Alpaca have used here. There are two versions of this. The, the version that you're looking at here is the faux wool version. The faux wool version is a 750D faux wool. Um, so the faux wool itself is a mix of 80% nylon and 20% polyester. And that is this top, um, this, this top section. So, this has a DWR, uh, DWR coating to make sure that if you know anything that gets on the surface of this, water will run off. But then those different layers that I was on about between, so you have this top 80%, um, 20% uh, nylon polyester um, outer section. The next layer underneath that is Kevlar. The, Kev the layer underneath that is then is a fireproof um, layer and then underneath that there is a fourth layer of water resistance so as far as you know pretty hard wearing indestructible material this gets there if you wanted to try and cut through this it's near impossible to cut well I say near impossible if you really wanted to cut through this then you could do but somebody trying to slash at this it's going to take an awful lot to get in here mainly because of this, this top layer and then the Kevlar underneath this. If you don't know Kevlar, Kevlar is a incredibly highly um, abrasion resistant material and it's also the material that is used in bulletproof vests, mainly because of how the fine, the fine fibers uh, are used in there. It's, it's hard to puncture. Um, but I did also mention that there is another version of this. So um, the other version is a completely black version that is made from 1000D um, nylon instead, which gives it a really nice kind of, you know, murdered out style look. 
There is some of that on the bottom here, um, which is used for areas with high abrasion. You know, if, if you're going to be putting this down on the on the floor, um, then it's there just in case. But with how tough this material is, it just shows that Alpaca are you know willing to give that extra to make sure that this stays in as tip top condition as it possibly can be. All of the zips that are used on here, these are all AquaGuard zippers. What you'll find is, on the front there is a, a, a zipper to a quick access pocket here, there is also a zipper to the main section here, and then on the back when you turn this round, there is also an AquaGuard zipper across the top here for anything that you want to put in there for extra security that when you're carrying this and it, it, it's against your person, it's a lot harder to get into. This, this front zip here, as I mentioned, is AquaGuard, but if needs be, somebody can get into that. That's mainly there for you to put quick access things that you need to be able to get. If you are concerned that you're traveling with this and maybe, you know, you, or, or you're in maybe city centers and you don't want people to get in, one, you have this uh, section on the back that keeps it close against you, but you also have um, lockable eye. I believe they're called eye zips or eye holes so that you can pass a lock through here um, and it will it will stop this from being able to open which I think is a great feature this this pack um, really cries out to be used on city breaks and the, and the way in which that it's set up a lot of the features that are in here it's perfect for that if you're going to an area that you're concerned that you know people might try and get into your bag then you can move away from this section put all of your valuable valuables into here to make sure that nobody can get to those um, so actually going round the bag, um, on, on this on this front section here, all through here, you have the, the, the faux wool. Um, I believe the faux wool goes down beneath here as well, so that if somebody tried to slash through this, um, then it would, it would stop them from getting into that, that would make complete sense. Faux wool across the top, the, the, this top section here, if I take it off again, so this top section here is completely flat. Um, no real sort of lashings or attachments to there, but I don't think that this pack really needs that sort of, that sort of thing. Across the bottom, you have this additional nylon to make sure that it's as tough as it possibly can be, and there is a small D-ring here. Um, so you can purchase additionally to this pack. You can get stabilizer straps, which will then strap uh, clip onto here to make sure if you're using this maybe on a, uh, a motorcycle or maybe you're just a very active person and you get around a lot and you, you, you definitely don't want to swing it around or you want to keep it here on the front, um, then you can get a stabilizer strap that will strap to that and make sure that it that it stays in place uh, with, with three points of um, connection. So last thing, actually the one thing that I forgot to mention was on the part on the front here you have a small um, leather strip that has a, a little bit of alpaca branding on there. Other than that the only other branding is on the zips. Uh, each of the, the the zip pulls has a small little alpaca on there which I think is quite a nice detail. Now as I open this front section here hopefully you'll notice it has this really nice electric blue kind of high-vis lining. This is made from a 250D ripstop nylon to make sure that if you've got anything in there it's going to be nice and secure and it's not going to damage anything. Um, the this is the, the high-vis lining is in this front section, it's in the main section and it's also on this on the valuable section on the rear as well. Now what I've done in here is I've kitted this out for like a, a, a general kind of EDC scenario. So as a dog walker I always make sure that I've got some dog bags. I've also got my small first aid kit and I have a USB cable which will make sense in a moment. It's pretty big, it goes all the way across the front, across to this side and comes down uh, roughly to about here so I mean you can you can fit an awful lot in there. What you also get is one of these push clip uh, key ring fobs so if you want to keep your keys on there you can do but I like the fact that there's some length on this so if you wanted to let yourself into a building if you came to the door there's enough 
that you can get to a door to allow yourself to get in to be able to then put it back in if you are concerned about any sort of security risks it's it's I think when these are on there you generally tend to find that they're really very short and they're just there to keep your key in place but again coming back to a lot of the choices that Alpaca have made with this having that extra length on there to be able to get close to a door to be able to let yourself in I think is another uh, great decision on Alpaca's side. Moving then on to the main section now the main section has those aqua guard zips and has ambi open so whether you're a lefty or a righty you can pull them either way to allow yourself into this top section so I'll just bring this forward so that you can see into here a little bit better but there is a very large in fact adequately sized opening to this so that you can get into there um, on the front or at least you know this is the front of the bag so if I hold this up like this you'll be able to see hopefully in there that there are two make sure I get this right why can't I do this there are two pockets in there so there's a slip pocket there and then another slip pocket on the other side so that you can put things into there you know how, however you want to choose this brilliant for electronics in the back you can fit up to an 11 inch uh, iPad Pro in the back there and to make sure that it is protected there is um, a felt lining on the inside what I keep in here I have a little tech pack um, that I you know I bought these these were super cheap from Ikea and I also keep a snood in there as well you know because you know COVID um, and that that's that main section you can really can fit an awful lot into there but because it's that chest kind of waist pack that we tend to carry like this nowadays it's very easy to be able to get in there and be able to get things out of um, then as I've already mentioned so, so on, on the back here there is this uh, extra zip pocket that is very easy to get into again in here you have more of that high vis lining and then on the back hopefully you'll be able to see that there are two additional slip pockets that you can put things into this is great as I've already mentioned for city breaks so you're out you maybe you want to put your mobile phone in one section you maybe want to put your um, wallet into one of the others and it, it keeps it right against you that zip um, it's really close into the Z, into the seam if I bring that in there hopefully you can see it's really close into that seam so um, to be able to get to that one on city breaks you need to be thinking about situational awareness you know who's around you but for somebody to try and get into this they need to be able to put their hand very close into your chest uh, to be able to get into that section um, very well thought out as well especially with that aqua guard zip because if any water does get onto here it will start to run down the back and having an aqua guard zip to make sure that any water just runs off is, is very again well thought out last little thing on here um, I call this the crack cocaine before this is this is the gateway drug into Fidlock so um, Alpaca have an, an extra fidlock, and this this is this is free of charge. So how these work is you have this small hypalon tag here at the top, so that you can attach your keys to this. If you try and pull on where the key is, it just won't come off. Whether you're pulling up or down, it won't move. There is a magnet in here that holds it in place, and there's like a tooth system to make sure that it won't come out. But when you pull this top tab, it disengages that magnet and you can get to your keys straight away, nice and fast. These are super useful. Um, Alpaca have um, quite a few different Fidlock attachments that you can get to these. Uh, there are Fidlock attachments that you can put your wallet onto. There are little ID slips. Um, you can get extra key attachments so that when you're out and about and you need to get to these then you can snap them to those but if you're changing them between different bags then the Fidlock system works between each of the different bags as well and it, it, it's certainly good for that. Now I've already put it on without going through through the suspension or the, 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 the system the, with, with the strap. The nylon webbing that they use on here is very similar to the nylon webbing that you get 
on seat belts in cars. Really nice and tough, but also it, it's not as abrasive and not as hard as you get with some of those military webbings. Um, so if you find that it rubs on your neck, it's actually really good at keeping in a position away on your shoulder, but if you do find that it rubs up at any point, um, it's very smooth, so just, yeah, think it's exactly the same as the uh, webbing that you get on um, on your car uh, seat belts. But an extra feature on here is the fact that it is a tubular webbing. So if I force that like that, you can see that it, it starts to rotate. Um, tubular webbing is used a lot in climbing and adventure style sports, um, mainly because of its it has a it, it has a little bit of give in it, uh, but it, it it's it's also incredibly strong. Um, but it, it's actually a real joy to have on the length of this. Sorry, if I pull this out, so that I can make this as long as it needs to go. Uh, the length of this is really quite big. You know, I put that on my shoulder, it goes down, and it will almost sit like a satchel. But if I wanted to cinch this up all of the way, then I can do, it's very easy to do. And I can get this almost to a point where, you know, it strangles me that it's, it's really nice and small. But depending on your height, whether you want to get this really close up into your chest, um, or whether you want to have it so that it runs a little bit lower, I'm probably murdering this piece of content at the moment, then you can do that. And there is a little strap keeper there as well to make sure that that is kept intact as well. Now la the last little thing on here to show you really is the, uh, the maglock buckles. Uh, so rather than taking it off over your head if you want to, you can use these buckles. Um, but this one differs slightly in the fact that on the back here there is a small little locking slider. So if you try and if you try and do that, it won't come undone. What you have to do is you just have to push this down and then they'll slide apart. Um, as far as keeping it together is concerned, you know, when it when it just comes in, in, in contact with it, the magnet will just hold that in place. But there's there's no give in it until uh, you flick the switch on the back, which will then make it open. Personally, I, I don't tend to use this mainly because whenever I get this on, you know, I, I sling it over my head and, I, and this is the way that I carry it. Now another feature that I've been able to test out a lot more with this pack is this USB hub that is here on the side. On the inside of this, you have a connection so that you can uh, use a mobile battery for it. And then on the outside, because it uses just a regular USB port, you can attach that to it and be able to charge your phones whilst you're out and about or any sort or commuting. So whether that's a mobile phone, whether that's a small gaming system, anything like that, you can charge this and be able to move at the same time without having to have your mobile battery in your hand whilst you're doing that. I've certainly used this a lot more and I've been testing this feature out quite a bit more with this and it's really useful to have. What they've also done is, on the inside of this, if I, you'll be able to see that there's a bit of depth to this and there is a little click on here that when you open it, there's some extra storage so you can store extra SIM cards and extra micro SD cards and there is also a, um, a SIM card, um, what do you call it, like a SIM key to be able to get your SIM cards out of phones if you need to. And as far as carry is concerned, it carries incredibly well. Um, if you wear it as a crossbody bag like this, you know, you can wear it around your waist if you choose to. It, it is a waist pack, but I think now these waist packs are really being designed to be carried like this, especially with Alpaca adding features uh, like the quick charging port here. Um, it, it really does suit itself to be carried like this. In fact, I think if you look at the Alpaca website, you'll notice that all of the press photos is either being carried on the chest or it's being behind here when, it, when it's on someone's back. Alpaca have used um, this material on the back here. You know how a carpet, I believe it's called a weft. Um, there you go, carpeters out there, the weft. Um, 
So the weft is when you brush your hand across a surface and sometimes it will feel smooth but sometimes when you brush it in the opposite direction there's a little bit more friction because of the way in which that, that it's been threaded. So the weft on this, from, from, from top to bottom this material is really smooth but when you rub your hand left to right you can, you can feel it on there. And that's used really well, um, be mainly because, and this is something you know that I've talked a lot about in the past when it comes to these sort of crossbody sling style bags, is that you you do get a little bit of slippage. So when it's on your back, you tend to find with some bags that uh, just walking, you know, you feel it across your shoulder and you, you feel it start to slip. And after some time, it will start to slip closer to the underside of your of, of your torso. Similar on the front as well that, you, that you'll get if you predominantly carry it here that after a while just with it moving it will generally tend to slip down here. Now this material on the back here negates a lot of that because of the the, the weft or the friction. I suppose is friction the right word? I, I suppose friction is right maybe? But it, it, it stops a lot of that lateral movement because it tends to want to hug towards you or at least it, it tends to try and grip. Now that's not a grip in a way that you might find that you'll get any wear on your clothing because the, the fabric's actually really nice and smooth. But it's almost like a velvety feel, but just a little bit more grippy so that up and down, you know, it slides up and down really well, but left to right, it's very good for that. So having it on your back, having it on your front, there's very little slippage. And a lot of that, again, you know, I've talked long and hard about this, comes down to the geometry of packs and it being able to sit completely flat against your back. Being able to do that stops any rotational forces um, so that you get 100% coverage against your chest or against your back. Which, which is used really well in conjunction, in conjunction on here with this material that the weft just grips it. Um, it's a very, very, very clever choice that's been used by Alpaca. Um, there's also a lot of padding in that back section as well, so if you do have anything that you're worried about maybe digging into your back, you, you certainly don't get that. Now really my thoughts on this bag, I think it goes past thoughts and it really gets to emotions and that is that I really do love this bag, I think it's a great bag and I'm not saying that just because you know Alpaca sent this to me, I genuinely do mean this. There's a, there's a lot to like about this bag from the size, for me, 6 litres, it's just perfect, it's not too big, it's not too small. In fact you've got your essentials in here but you can ca you can carry quite a bit more if you need to use those, if you don't it fits and it sits perfectly whether you, you hold it on your chest or whether you slide it around to your back. The materials that have been used on here, the uh, the mag locks, the fid lock, um, the choice to use AquaGuard zippers, again you know really I think if anybody's making outdoor style bags why aren't you using AquaGuard zippers? The uh, webbing on this is really nice and smooth, the fact that it's going to take a lot to get into this where you've got fire retardants, you've got Kevlar, you've got water resistance. The layout of the pockets on the inside, the fact that you can charge electronics outside while you're on the go. Um, also, you know, if you're using this for city breaks, which is great, it screams to be used for city breaks. This back compartment has the addition that whatever's in there is RFID blocked. The the back material on here, that you know, I've talked about the weft on there that stops it from slipping. It ticks a lot of boxes, but the strange thing about this bag is it ticked a lot of boxes that I didn't even realize that I knew I had. This has invented new tick boxes that I'm going to start to look at with other bags and yeah it, it's great it really is a great bag so I think it would be the right thing to do at this point to thank Alpaca uh, for sending this my way you know the people of the Moorlands have an amazing diplomatic relationship with uh, the people of Australia so it would make sense that you know at some point we would definitely work together so thank you very much for sending this my way two for two there you go, two for two, you're making some amazing equipment uh, and some amazing packs. 
Um, I will leave all of Alpaca's links in the description below. I highly recommend following them on Instagram and Facebook. Now, I, I know I always say that for, for a lot of people that send me uh, different things. The difference with Alpaca is that they make a lot of limited edition versions and their limited edition versions are really, really, really nice. So don't be surprised that by following these, you'll get to see other versions. I, I, I've not been told this, but um, you know they make a lot in X Pack. I really wouldn't be surprised if there will be a Bravo X Sling version two in X Pack soon. Again, you know they haven't told me that, so don't be surprised if they don't. But um, yeah, with the with the special limited edition versions that they do, I highly recommend following them on Instagram or Facebook. I generally tend to be on Instagram quite a bit more anyway, so there'll be some of my links in the description below. I also mentioned at the beginning of this that there will be a giveaway soon. So today, uh, which is Sunday, what is it, Sunday the 19th, I actually hit 2,000 um, followers on Instagram. But I'm also so close. I'm about 150 subscribers here on YouTube away from hitting 5,000 subscribers. So I'm going to do a joint giveaway for both of them, which hopefully will be a 2,000, uh, will be a 2K and a 5K. Um, but that joint giveaway is going to be two giveaways. So if you follow me on Instagram, then there's a chance through Instagram you'll be able to uh, win the giveaway on there. But also follow me here uh, on. YouTube and there will be a chance for you to win on here as well So you've got two chances on two separate giveaways and being able to pick up some gear in the future now as soon as I hit uh, 5k then I'm going to make a piece of content here on YouTube to have a look through um, The items that I'm going to be giving away here on YouTube um, But as I mentioned, you know follow me on Instagram at Morlander underscore EDC and you'll be able to see how my 2K giveaway will work there as well. Um, I guess really it would be important as well to thank everybody for, for the, the 5,000 subs, hopefully soon, the 5,000 subs that I have here on YouTube, plus the uh, 2,000 followers that I have on Instagram as well. That would be awesome. But don't forget, today's really more important to like, subscribe and share. That would be amazing. But for now, stay safe, stay Morelander and stay EDC.